Level 70, my power, my pleasure, my pain. The wandering dramaturge has something to ask of you. There's few so loath to take their rest than adventurers without a quest. For shorn of work to give them worth, they soon become a source of mirth. I see I've struck a chord with you, my friend. My colleagues tell me that if one in this land ever needs an item fetched, that you are the woman to speak to. I find this philanthropic compulsion fascinating, and so, in the interest of research into my next play, let's say... I seek to put said compulsion to the test, assuming you are game, of course. Bring me a bottle of wine, ah, but not just any wine. Make it a rose-themed and make it Eorzean. I've had my fill of bitter blends offered here in the east. Where to start? Oh, if only there were some port where thirsty Eorzeans went for their wine. You would surely be speaking with its foremost blind Lollafell and Wint Vintner, and not here with me. So it's this quest and another quest, I believe, that, um, like the ending, after you do the Stormblood raids, the Ivalice raids, there's an achievement behind it, which is why we're doing it. This one, in bad taste, Lady of the Fetch. So we have to do this one and then the one that follows. So that's why we're doing this. I don't know why we didn't do it before, to be honest with you. Probably because it's not like required and it's just like a side quest. Soy and spice sprinkled with a subtle toucan of the steppe. You have traveled far, my friend. What is it you seek here in Wineport? Rose-themed wine. You would be hard-pressed to find a wine that did not display some hint of rose, so we can assume your client was not referring to the, the desired bouquet, perhaps a name or a label or... Bottle. Yes, I seem to recall a certain vintage rosé sold in crystal bottles with a single red rose on the label. Alas, I have nothing as rare amongst my personal stock. As for who might, well, there's always Berglant, I suppose. Ah, only an uncultured fool would select a wine based solely on its bottle. As it happens, however, said fool would be undeservingly rewarded with one of Vilbrand's best wines were he to select a vintage Sud Viangia. Not that your client would have the palate to properly appreciate its depth and complexity. But let us dispense with the pretense you are the fool in question, and do not bother to deny it. A fool who has aimed too high, one of your standing, live a thousand lifetimes and still not amass the wealth required to purchase even an empty bottle. I mean, I did save the world several times. <laughs> oh, price is no object, is it? Hi, huh? even if I believed you, and I do not. I have a reputation to uphold as a vintner and viticulturist. Were my clients to learn I was peddling the choice of my collection to the likes of you, they would never do business with me again. Uh, all right, just to see the back of you, I shall do you the kindness of directing your steps unto one who might take pity on your plight, assuming he does not find amusement in it. Master Gagaruju, of course. Costa del Sol, but do not tell him I sent you. It is always a pleasure, and I do mean that. My ladies inform me you come inquiring after a bottle of Sud Viangia, but I told them they must be mistaken. Not even you would be foolish enough to think you could. Oh, you are serious. <laughs> do you realize one could purchase an entire estate and miss for the price of a single bottle, or five estates for the price of five bottles, which happens to be the number of bottles of Sud Viangia I have in my collection? I am not an unreasonable man. Let none say the venerable Gagaruju does not value a friendship as deep as the one you and I have forged. So in my boundless generosity, I offer you the opportunity for a trade. A bottle of vintage sued beyond you for a mere magnum of a fine Damascus. 
Have I heard of this stuff? And I thought I was talking to a fellow connoisseur. I pity the poor vintner back in Wineport who will have to educate you. Till then, my friend, the offer stands. Ah, ha 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 ha. Back to Wineport. I mean, we could just fly there, but. Your money, help me out. Any booze? Ursu Bianca, now that I'm asking wine, might I interest you in an aged lemons in red instead? No, I thought not. Well, then have your work cut out for you. There was a time Damascan wine was fairly easy to procure, even here in Vilbrun, but that was before the Empire raised the better part of the kingdom, vineyards and all. If there are any surviving bottles, it would be those that were exported before the Imperial invasion over 30 summers past. I have not encountered any in a decade or more, either at auction or in private hands. Collectors are covetous creatures. If one were to have somehow acquired a bottle, there is little chance he would willingly part with such a treasure, which leaves only those brought over by a few Damascan refugees who fled to Eorzea. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Need wine. Severed string. Can't, can't sleep. They won't let me. The midges won't let me. They buzz and they scream. They scream as they burn, but I just stand there. Stand there and listen to their screams. They're buzzing. Why won't it go away? Why won't it go away? Will someone please make it go away? Just as haunted by his memories of the Garlean invasion of Damascus. Try and soothe him. You, I know you. You were here before. You sent away the midges. They came back, though. They always come back. They mock me. Tell me I can never go home. I just want to go home. I cannot stand it here anymore. Wine. My wife loved wine. We would drink a glass, a glass of Valens, every night before sunset. She would always keep the cork. I always thought... That odd, but what good is a cork? Toss it in the midden heap along with the bottle, I'd say, but she, she. Not in here, it's probably outside. Discarded bottle. You find several empty wine bottles amongst the rubbish. One in particular calls out to you. Take it to Shimani Lomani to confirm its origin. Oh, we should just... This will be quicker. How is dressed? I do hope your visit did not disquiet the poor soul. So you brought me an empty bottle. Ah, but what is this? The cork remains in place. That is most fortunate. An adequate seal was made. There may still be traces of the wine within. May I? Flamboyant yet elegant, a thought-provoking blend of cuckoo beans and cinnamon with just a hint of, is that rosemary? A veritable kaleidoscope of both opulence and refinement. How long has it been since I last encountered a bouquet of such complexity? Yet I recall that is I recall it as if it were yesterday. Without question, this bottle once held a Dalmascan Leomonde red by the name of Valens. I think I would have the opportunity to experience it again after so many summers. I suspect Master Gigaruju will not be satisfied with a sniff as I. 
Now, one without scruples might see the empty bottle as a basis for a ruse. One's man, one man's ruse is another man's kekaku. What is he doing here? Over the years, I've had numerous dealings with the Lord of Costa del Sol, and while he is many things, an expert on wines is not one of them. Not that it would matter if he were. Men of his standing invariably find more joy in boasting of their acquisitions than in consuming them. In all likelihood, Master Gigaruju would never even open the bottle, rendering the providence of its contents practically irrelevant. Ah, but where are my manners? These forays back to western climes always brings out the barbarian in me. It is a pleasure, Zilly, lest you wonder at my presence here. My employer's steep promise in the hanging wine trade, and a desire the establishment of a viable route twixt east and west. I am come to see their plan to fruition. But returning to your dilemma, I believe that I may be of assistance. I just so happen to have on my person several sample bottles of hanging wine made with grapes similar to those ones found in Dalmasca. For a close acquaintance, I would be more than willing to part with one that she might fill her empty vessel. That would be unjust. As a maker of wine, I cannot allow it. Master Gagaruju has chosen more of his clients than he can count. How do you think the man amassed his fortune by playing fair? Would that the world were thus, but I am here to tell you it is not. So it is decided then we shall employ deceit as our morally justified means to a happy end. Wait, this is a fool's errand. And let us be glad our quarry is a fool himself. <laughs> Look. <laughs> like the vaunted hero. <laughs> if you will excuse me, I must go and tell the gentle citizens of Wineport why they should be drinking Hengen. Good day. By the gods, you actually found one? A bottle of Dalmascan wine? Oh, oh, we must uncork it right away. Mm, yes, a lush bouquet of herbaceous dignification, coupled with earthen undertones and uh, so forth. In short, the very epitome of a Dalmascan red. Yes, you have outdone yourself this time. <laughs> A promise is a promise. Ladies, the bottles of Sud Vianja, if you please. Ooh, we dressed alike. Mostly. Need the one with the rose. Take whichever you fancy, except for the one with the rose. That is my favorite. Or whichever you fancy. Ahem. to Guyane. There you go. They say a rose is a rose is a rose. So tell me, adventurer, is that a rose in your pocket, or are you simply here for the small talk? Bottle of vintage sous viange, and you never cease to amaze me. 
What is the most amazing is your impeccable sense of timing. Today marks the 12th anniversary of the day I met my dear wife, and if there was one thing she loved more than wine, it was roses. Would that she were here today to... to... Uh, but I jest. My wife is very much alive, in fact. She's been here with us all along. Darling, would you care to join us? For me? How thoughtful. But did you... forget the most important gift of all? Of course not. Google. <laughs> Heard a noise. Bacon bread, the perfect companion to a perfect wine for my perfect companion. Oh, darling, I think this might be our best anniversary yet. That played out better than I had imagined. I suppose I have to thank, I have you to thank, adventurer, though it was the bacon bread that sealed the deal. Level 70, my power, my pleasure, my pain. Complete. Level 70, in bad taste, the wandering dramaturg wishes to express his appreciation. Sued Vianja was truly an amazing wine. I admit, before leaving Garlemald, I was worried the Outland vintages would not agree with my palate, but oh, how I was wrong. Not only was the rosé one of the best I've had during my time here, it is one of the best I've had, well, ever. I simply had to have more, so... Went and purchased an entire crate of the stuff. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, how? And I gave him quite a deal on my head, which was not easy seeing as there is a great demand for bottles of Sud Vianja throughout the three great continents. I reserve my judgment on the verity of Hancock's deal, but e even were the price double, it would have been more than worth it. Fortunately, I recently sold an entire collection of my works to a little playhouse on Kogane Dori, the Muges Koza. I believe they called themselves these hanging words leave my tongue in knots and scored myself a tidy profit. Hmm, the price of a single bottle more than a house in mist, you say, huh? More than a birdhouse, I suppose. Oh, you were serious. Well, then, I can inform you that is most definitely not the case. Even during shortages, I've never had to ask more than, say, 20 or 30,000 gill a bottle. Forty of the buyer was wearing silks. You say Master Gagarouge provided you with this misinformation, did he? By the conniving devil, well played, you lecherous Lollafell. You, I mean, that is terrible. What a terrible thing for him to do. Wait, was that Dalmaskin wine we procured for Master Gagaruju some moons ago in exchange for one of his bottles of Sudvianja? Do I, uh, want to know about this, Hancock? Probably not, but I shall enlighten you anyway. Sounds like you and Hancock make quite the cunning devils. Still, I do feel somewhat responsible for this whole mess. Apology, might I offer you a bottle of vintage Sudvianja? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. Then... What would you say to a bottle of Dalmaskin? That you could exchange it with the bottle you gave this Master Gagarujo and absolve yourself of all wrongdoing and whatnot. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> now you are probably wondering where one might find a bottle of genuine Dalmaskin red, considering the hells you had to negotiate simply to find an empty bottle. Well, that, my distrustful friend, is where Hancock comes in. Do? Oh yes, ahem, I do, and I just so happen to have a bottle of Dalmaskin wine on my person this very moment. Three, in fact. <laughs> and why do I carry bottles of the rarest wine and no thought on my person, you ask? I er, am I not at liberty to say.
You must know I acquired them from one of my acquaintances in Ravenaster. Bah, all right, all right, I purchased them from Lady Fran. Is this all what I think it is? After I'm asking Red to keep Babanga happy for a long, long time amongst the Royal Somaliers, there was a Viera-like Lady Fran. When word came the Garleans were approaching, she ordered the entirety of the Royal Palace cellars delivered here where they'd be safe from the Empire. Seeing as the situation with the palace is what it is, I don't believe anyone would mind Lente's tears using the wine to say, fill the resistance's coffers. So what is your offer? If this many bottles were to make it to market, the price would fall like a furball from an oak. I would be ruined. Here I thought they said you were a shrewd one. Now if it were I to acquire this much wine, I reckon I would only release a few bottles at a time to ensure, what would you call it, maximum profits? Renok, there's no need to be rude to our guest. Tell me before that the East Aldenar Trading Company could not provide the Dalmascan resistance with aid as it would not be good for business, so I'll offer you something that will. Do you accept? Not that it transpired anything like that, mind you, ahem. So, would you care to purchase a bottle? I jest, I jest. Take a bottle and consider it my... ahem. And consider it the last you'll get from me. You just can't apologize, can he? Uh, take two bottles. <laughs> All three? No, poor Hancock looks as if he has lost his mistress to a marble. Three bottles is more than fair to see your wounded honor restored. Think of it this way, if you hadn't saved the world from Ultima's Bane, the High Seraph would most definitely have destroyed all that wine in the monastery simply out of spite, meaning you're entitled to at least those three. And if you so desire, you can take one of those bottles back to Costa del Sol and set things right. If something tells me Master Gagaruju won't take kindly to you waltzing into his manor and demanding he exchange bottles for no apparent reason, hmm. Perhaps you might enlist the aid of that Ventner from Wineport. What was his name again? Shamwao, Shamon, Shamani? Shamani Lomani. Wait, did you just say you have in your possession a bottle of genuine Dalmaskin Red? By the Twelve, wherever did you find it? Amazing, simply amazing. Is it safe to assume you are here to right a past wrong, one involving a fancy bottle full of falsehoods and fabrications? Well, I am more than willing to help you sort out this sordid mess. If I had said something back when I learned you would be trading a bottle of Valens for mere sued beyond you, none of us would be in this position in the first place. Shall accompany you to Master Gagaruju Seaside Manor, explain to the man that the bottle you gave him had not been stored properly, and that we have come to exchange it with one that has. He is certain to believe the claim coming from me, his most trusted supplier. Spoiled, Shimani, I am shocked to hear that such a careless mistake was made on your watch. My deepest apologies, Master Gagaruju. I was not made aware of the error until recently, and have since been seeking to procure a replacement, the one I come bearing today. Do you care to partake in its aroma? I find you will recognize hints of kukuru, cinnamon, and, if you hold the goblet at just the right angle, freshly cut rosemary, a veritable kaleidoscope of both opulence and refinement, if I do, if I do say so. Without question, this bottle most certainly contains none other than Dalmascan Valens. I shall be the judge of that. Yes, a florid bouquet of wooden distinctions hunkered beneath a rhapsodic veil of undertones, and, uh, what you said. Yes, this is, without a doubt, a vintage of Le Monde. I accept your apology and will allow the exchange. You too, fetch me the bottle now. Or do they drink it? <laughs>
In my apologies, Master Gagaruju, I shall endeavor to prevent any similar oversights in the future. You have my word. Yes, yes, but may I ask, what exactly are your plans for that bottle? Why this? Why dispose of it, of course. It is far too foul to even flavor a stew. And you wouldn't mind if I kept it, would you? You're gonna sell it to somebody else who kept it, but why? Why do you think there's coin to be made? A little wax about the top, and I can convince my fool colleagues back in Old Ah that this is an authentic sealed bottle of Damascan Red. Once the bidding ends, I'll have enough for another wing to my manor here. Master Gagaruju, knowingly presenting someone with a bottle of wine understood to be of inferior quality, that would be, that would be, I could never allow such a thing. Something he said before. Never, never. That's one little bottle. I'll even give you a cut of the profits. A small cut. I said never. And I said, uh... <laughs> no. Now look what you've done. Ladies, hurry and collect those pieces. I have some animal glue in the bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a good day to you too there's like Hildebrand vibes to it all's well that ends well I suppose the important thing is that we exchange the bottles now as to how this is going to affect my future dealings with Master Gagaruju you let me worry about that What's this? A second bottle of Liamon for me? You know I cannot accept such a gift. There are literally thousands more where this came from. Well, if that is the case, I suppose I can. Thank you again for the wonderful gift. As a distributor of fine wines, rarely am I allowed the luxury of partaking in mine own supply. I shall truly enjoy this exception. Perhaps I will even allow old Virglant a glass, half a glass. Here's to hoping it will inspire his winery to even greater heights. Is that another bottle I see there sticking its cork from your pack? Gods, those things truly are bottomless, aren't they? As happy as I would be to take it off your hands, I believe there's another far more deserving than I. You'll find poor dressed where he always is. No. Yeah. Yeah. Why have you come back? There is nothing for you here. There is nothing for any of us. That bottle, where did you? The scent. Home. I'm sorry, I just, I don't deserve this. It was my wife, my wife who always saved the corks. Do you think she'd, she'd forgive me if I told her I wasn't coming back? With my brothers in arms, would they allow me this, this respite? Maybe it's time I ask them. They'll all be here soon, just like they are every night. But tonight, I, I brought them something. Thank you, friend. Thank you.
you're back, and my, far quicker than last time. Everything off with an area hitch, then, I presume? That is truly, truly wonderful to hear, and I'm not simply saying that because there's been this nagging in my gut that's followed me since I asked you to fetch me some wine that fateful day. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. I've been told the adventuring types uh, fet or collect them as well. Level 70, in bad taste, complete. Keep it unlocked. Live to serve. 